Good morning, Monday morning, back from a very, very long weekend. Today is going to be jam-packed, as in back-to-back meetings from 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Literally back-to-back with no breaks in between. Some really great meetings, though, meeting this morning with Nir Zavaro, an old friend and a top marketing dude, followed by a meeting at Intelligo to talk about marketing, PR, the future, things like that. Then heading to Tel Aviv to meet my boy Tom Barav, who was uh, the head of Mass Challenge in Israel and has now moved on and doing something interesting, which I'm hopefully going to hear about, and a whole bunch of other meetings in the afternoon. Then this afternoon, heading back towards home, meeting Migo, a company that I backed on Kickstarter many years ago before I even knew they were Israeli, talking to them about their marketing and some other stuff. Hopefully, just get that on camera. It's going to be a great day, but very, very busy. Let's do this. And as I'm pulling in, I got myself an email I've been waiting for for years. Facebook emailed me that they verified my account, which it only took like 12 impersonations and like endless abuse on Facebook. But my account on Facebook is now verified. Also, who's this good looking guy? Who are you, man? Hey, how's it going? I'm Neil Zavaro. Neil Zavaro. We have an 8 o'clock meeting. You know I like someone when I meet them at 8 o'clock in the morning, man. <laughs> We're going to go have some coffee. Let's do it. Desperately. Let's do this, man. Okay, so I met this guy. How long ago? Uh, six months ago. Six months ago. I feel like we're good friends. Absolutely. Something about, I mean, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if this is like if this is like politically correct to say, but something about Indian men, man. You guys are all so nice. It's like Canadians. I've never met a mean Canadian in my life. All Indian guys are so nice. Well, we're gonna talk about how nice you are in a second. First of all, why is my flashlight on? What's that about? All right, tell me about yourself. Who are you? What's your name? My name is Saket Agarwal. I uh, run a company called Onivation. We invest in the India business of Israeli companies, help them expand to India by hiring a team for them, putting in the capital, and running their entire sales and business development activities. Okay, so first of all, how many coffees have you had today? Uh, just just starting with you. Okay, so we need to slow down here because you're, you, you're, you're, your brain works too fast for us. Okay. <laughs> all right, so you are based where? Uh, Mumbai. Mumbai, yeah. Okay, by the way, I always wonder, is it Mumbai or Mumbai? I don't know, is it? I don't know, whatever. Mumbai? Mumbai. Mumbai, okay, yeah. so you're based there, and it's a massive market. Yes. Yes. And you looked at Israel, you said there's something going on in that Israeli tech space. Okay. So you have this structure in which you come to Israel, you look at some of the hottest companies, and you say, you guys are targeting the US, you're targeting maybe Europe, maybe Asia, targeting, but what about India? I mean, a lot of times maybe people are ignoring India, and you're okay. saying, not only can we give you access and close big, massive deals with Indian companies, we're actually going to deploy capital, we're going to invest in you, take you, bring you there, and we're not taking a dime. You don't pay us anything. We literally just help you scale, and when you scale, and when you succeed, then we have a rev share model, right? Correct. Correct. Okay, so can you name some of the companies that you've worked with over the years? Yeah, so the, uh, the best company that we work so far is Spotins. Uh, it saves you 80% cost on your AWS bills. We're working with uh, Peaky, we're working with Anodot, we're working with Stodot, Beamer, Comigo, and a whole range of other uh, wow. companies. Those are some incredible companies. Yes. I have a, a newly found crush on Anodot. I told I told Edin from uh, from Olive, he invested in Anodot, and I told David, I, I love that company. Love what they're doing. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so you basically are looking, now you're here for two weeks, you're looking for, what would you say is your pitch? If someone's watching this, they're an entrepreneur, and they are thinking, oh, maybe India might be a relevant market for us. What kind of companies are you looking for? Great. So if you're in the cloud, DevOps, media tech, and FinTech space, and you fulfill three criteria: One, you are a very, very unique or monopolistic uh, technology. You provide high ROI. India is a price sensitive market, so it's uh, important that the product is a high ROI product. Product. And the third criteria is it, it should be a must-have rather than a good-to-have product. If you fulfill all these three criteria, uh, please reach out to me, and I'll be happy to expand you to uh, help you expand to Indian market. One of the most important thing is uh, you would not require any bandwidth other than doing a couple of calls uh, initially, Very important. and then our team will take it from there. You literally have to do nothing. Do nothing. Okay. I'll tell you the one problem. Yeah. The one problem is that my editor is like drowning in work because I okay. sent him so many vlog episodes. So he's like a week plus behind. So this might actually get published after you leave Israel, but it doesn't matter. If somebody wants to contact you, they're an Israeli company, they want to scale to India, what's your email? Uh, my email address is saket at onivation.in. Uh, okay, so S A K E T. At the rate. Onivation. O double N I V A T I O N. Dot like innovation I with an O. Yeah. Dot. 
I N. I N. E N. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about the most important thing here. Yes. Out of everything we just talked about, you wrote me the other day. You're like, I'm coming back to Tel Aviv. I had interviewed him before on the vlog, so we're old friends. He said, I'm coming back. You know, can I get you anything? And I'm like, I don't know. What do I need from India? I was like, I don't know. And I was like, you know what? I kind of dig the way you guys dress over there. Maybe hook me up with some Indian garb. The dude, freaking, what is happening? Oh my God. What's this thing called? It's called a kurta pajama. Say that again. It's called a kurta pajama. It's an Indian uh, traditional uh, dress, and it's like a long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I wear like over jeans. No, uh, there's a there's a trouser inside. There's a special trouser. Oh, really? Inside. Yeah. Wow, man, this is awesome. That's called a pajama. To I, wait, but I wear this out, not for sleep. No, no, you wear this out. Okay, it, man. It's for festival. I love it. Thank you so much for this. My pleasure. Very unnecessary, but uh, you know, I, I feel I feel very bad now. I have to get in business. So if you're no, if you're no. a startup, <laughs> if you're a company, DevOps, fintech, cloud, Media tech. Media tech. Yes. Let's do that again. Media tech, fintech, cloud, and DevOps. Perfect. If you're a company that's funded and you know is, is building the product market fit, and you're thinking of India as an option, it's kind of like a no-brainer. Like why would why would anyone not work with you? And 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 that's the reason we are very successful. We are. I, I'll, I'll be proud to say that we are one of the only few companies that have made money for Israeli companies. Right. And In India. Uh, yeah. You're closing like I mean, you told me you're you're, you're not again. It, it, I said to him, listen. A lot of times when I'll say to a startup, who's your competitor? They'll say, I don't have any. And they, they say that because they view their competitors as someone doing the exact same thing as them. But a lot of times a competitor is someone, you know, the way is perception. So for example, I don't know what, I'm not gonna give an example. If certain things that I do, I'm changing the way it's always been done. Your biggest competitor is the way it's always been done. In your case, your biggest competitor are the millions of people out there who are saying, I'm gonna help you penetrate a market. Pay me $10,000 and I'll make intros. That's not what you do. You're not taking a dime. You're coming to a company and saying, I'm going to build your entire sales force in India and you will not pay us no bandwidth. You don't, you don't require anything. We'll, we'll fund you. We'll actually invest you know, real capital and then we'll build the entire office there for you. You do nothing and once you succeed, we succeed. Correct. And and one of the things we, uh, we uh, are very careful about is curating the right set of companies because we take all the effort in scaling you in India and then so we're very careful in choosing the right companies based on the three criteria I just mentioned. Love it. Yeah. All right, man. Well, listen, now, I, I, I would have said this anyway. You know I would have said this anyway. But now that you got me this, I have to say, there's <laughs> anything I can do to help you. I love it, man. And listen, at the end of the day, we, our goals are aligned to help Israeli companies scale globally. Just come to India and spread some uh, Israeli magic in the Indian market. I only have one request from you. Yes. The next time you hear of an opportunity for someone to, to fly me into India, remember me. Okay? Absolutely, absolutely. I've never been. Absolutely. We would love to host you there. We gotta, I got to come back. got to come out there. I've never been there. You know, I've done speaking in Australia. I've done speaking in, in Europe. I've speaking in you. I've never been to India. I got to make it happen. Anyway, Very bro. Soon. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, you know, hopefully get you some deals and just keep doing what you're doing. I love it, man. Good luck with everything. Let me see those. My pleasure. Yeah, cuff links. Look at what? This guy's real deal. These are nice. Love it, man. Thank you for I that. You we'll stop it. <laughs> no more, no more presents, man. That's, I feel bad. Listen, we're gonna stay in touch, and uh, you know, if I can think of, of companies on my end that I think could use your services, I'll send them over. But if you send me a, a list of companies, I'll happily make those intros. And Absolutely. you know, again, our goals are aligned. Just keep kicking butt, man. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank we'll you. Thanks a lot. Before my next meeting, uh, I have a spontaneous half an hour meeting with Alex Oppenheim and Michael Stoppelman, I believe is his name, who I totally randomly bumped into last week in a cafe. And Michael's looking to deploy some capital, invest in Israeli startups, so Alex thought we should meet. And I agree. Where we're meeting, I think it's that way. I have absolutely no clue. Hoping I could find it. And then uh, the next meeting right after that is with Tom Barov from Mass Challenge. like quite an interview I'm about to do right now. These guys are like, listen, there's high caliber people in Israeli tech, but nothing like this. Let's just back up a little bit. How do we know each other? Who, who are you, first of all? What's your name? Alex Oppenheimer. Alex Oppenheimer. We connected like, what, a year ago? Something like that. How do we even connect? You remember? I think through Shlomo Lewin. Oh, I love Shlomo Lewin. He's the greatest. Okay, so I don't think at the time, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think at the time you told me how big of a legend you are, but we'll get there. Hold on, who are you? I'm Michael Stoppelman. Okay, we got another legend on my left. <laughs> okay, so let's start with you. May I ask how old you are? Um, 36. Okay, 36 years old. The last 10 years of your life, what'd you do? I ran the uh, Yelp engineering team. Okay, So Yelp. How big is Yelp right now? Uh, Yelp is about a 6,000 person company uh, based in San Francisco with about six offices around the world. Okay, so you, you guys are a complete market dominator. Is that fair to say? Um, I think that it, we're a leader in local in local in the U.S. This is the thing with great people. They're too humble. You dominate the market. Come on. I mean, there's no question about it. So your, your brother also founded Yelp. And he's yes. the CEO now. Yes. So 
So Jeremy Stoppelman, CEO, co-founder of Yelp, 2004. Okay, enough about you, man. Let's talk about this guy. How old are you? 29. 29 years old. So like when I was 29, I was like popping pimples. Talk to me. What have you done? So I uh, started my career at Morgan Stanley in investment banking in, uh, in California. Um, no 29 year old should be able to say I started my career. Like you should be starting your career now. <laughs> you spent years at Morgan Stanley. You worked on, can we talk about what you worked on? Can we sure. talk about that? Yeah, you worked totally on the right. Facebook IPO. That's gotta be like the most incredible IPO in history, maybe, perhaps. Is that a fair statement? No offense to Yelp, I mean. Um, <laughs> okay, so you worked at Morgan Stanley for two years. We didn't win that IPO, we, uh, we lost the bake off. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay, so then what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I worked at Morgan Stanley for two years, did a bunch of M&A deals, IPOs, software, internet, semiconductors across the board, and then I went and worked at NEA in uh, Washington, D.C., mostly doing early stage. Tell me about NEA for those that are watching that, don't, that aren't familiar with NEA. NEA is one of the biggest venture capital firms in the world, also one of the oldest. Focused on enterprise, right? Correct me. Well, they do everything. Oh, did they? Okay. It's about two-thirds uh, technology split between consumer and enterprise. And massive, one massive. One-third healthcare. And Unbelievable. Fantastic firm. I spent three years there. Amazing place. Learned a crazy amount, worked with some amazing people. Unbelievable. Okay, by the way, totally side question. Do you do you always wear a capo? Yes. You know you don't take it off? Never. Fist pump. <laughs> Love it. No, because uh, people say to me all the time, like, you know, because I never take off my keeper. And not only has it not been an obstacle for me, people say that to me, but it's actually become my thing. Like, like I said, I mentioned Bradley Hartwitz. When I came to, to meet Bradley Hartwitz, senior VP of Google, he actually ordered me kosher catering. Like, I sign off every Friday afternoon, very vocally on social media, and announce I'm signing off for Shabbat. And, like, it's become my thing. Like, that's what I always say to people. Like, instead of, like, being embarrassed or whatever, own, own it. You own it, it becomes a thing. That's totally a side point. But, okay. So, now, what are you doing now? So I made Aliyah in August of 2016. I worked here at GE Ventures oh, for a John. year. Yeah, worked oh, with Jonathan for a year. Awesome. Great experience. Love Jonathan. Okay. Um, learned a lot more about industrial tech, how big companies work, and then got my feet on the ground here in the Israeli ecosystem. Freaking love it, man. Okay, and now you're a finance guy at the end of the day. Now you're working as an advisor, how do you call I'm it? an advisor, I do investments. Love um, it. Amazing, so you're kind of, I'm kind of like you in the, in the marketing, you're me in the finance world, is that fair? Yeah. So if you're a lot younger You, you do this, I'm all in Excel. <laughs> <laughs> God, I can't even like they give me a headache to even think about it. But okay, fine. All right. So and let's talk about what you're doing now, Michael. Yeah. So I'm I'm an angel and seed investor, um, full time. And so I focus on, on companies. I, I live in Santa Monica, uh, California. And so I focus on lots of companies in Santa Monica as well as a lot of companies in the Bay Area and looking to get more into, into Israeli tech. Why Israeli tech? Um, I think in terms of one of my areas of interest is in cybersecurity. And so, you know, I continually, I continually see lots of companies coming out of Israel. And Love it. Lots of engineers coming out of Israel that really have kind of the leading edge. Love it. Okay, so, so if an Israeli entrepreneur is watching this, what are you looking for? What, what stages, what spaces, what verticals, what are you staying away from? Just it, what, what's your, hit me with your elevator pitch, man. Yeah, so I, I focus on distributed systems infrastructure, things around service-oriented architecture, distributed other distributed systems like databases, Kafka, I'm a, I'm a seed investor in Confluent, um, the company that's commercializing uh, Kafka. I'm an investor in, in a company called PlanetScale that's, that's, uh, that's commercializing uh, uh, a product out of Google called Vitas. Um, that's the database that scaled YouTube. Incredible. So those are the types of things that I'm looking for. And then uh, digital health, health IT is a passionate area of mine. Love it. Um, if yeah. someone's watching and they want to send you their deck, what's the best, best, most effective way to do that? Email. You want to give out your email? You'd rather vet it through me. I'm happy to vet it through you. If you want to give out your email, yeah, you, so, you, you might get 100,000 yeah. emails. I'm just kidding. I don't know 100,000 viewers yet. Stopman at gmail.com. Say it again? Stopman. S-T-O-P-M-A-N at gmail.com. Story? Uh, my last name is Stoppelman. So stopman at gmail.com. All right, very cool. Yeah. All right, and you're, I mean, you're not looking, you know, for more business per se. You're working with him in terms of the companies that he invests in. You then help him on the financial side. Listen, dude, this is amazing. This is like, I, I mean, I'm kind of like starstruck here. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, this is incredible. I've, I don't think I've ever met anyone who's scaled a company like you scaled Yelp. It's wild. So the bottom line is, if you're an entrepreneur, reach out to these guys. And you know, I think m my, my most important thing is that this is our kickoff meeting. I want to continue this conversation next time you're visiting. And uh, if I can do anything at all to help you guys in any capacity, you know where to find me. And I'm looking forward to our next meeting. Awesome. All right, thanks, guys. What a crazy day. Literally been back to back all day. I had no time to record any B-roll, anything in between meetings. But now heading to my last meeting to meet a company called Migo, mymigo.com. Crazy cool mobile accessories. Didn't even know they were Israeli when I backed them on Kickstarter, but been following them, been in touch with them, and now we're going to meet to talk about the future of their marketing. Seriously cool company.
once again could not turn on the camera. Today's one of those days. I guess I, I should apologize for not getting that many of my meetings or anything in between meetings on camera. It's just been kind of nuts. But do check out mymigo.com, really cool company. And uh, tomorrow's proof day, then Wednesday morning, bright and early, heading to Paris to VivaTech. Me and Mark Zuckerberg, not really, but he will be there speaking. And a whole bunch of ambassadors slash influencers that uh, will be joining. It will be a really, really cool trip. Very excited about that. And uh, yeah, I'm also excited about what's going on tomorrow at Proof. A lot of cool stuff happening with that company. See you then.